Well, good afternoon, chat. I'm here a little earlier than I thought. God, I thought I'd be back on Halloween to do Finders Part 2, which is coming up. We're going to work our way through the CIA op, known as a child sex cult that was started as an, an intelligence operation, I suppose. I don't know. I was supposed to have a video up. A little bit delayed on that. I felt bad. And I thought, what better way to make amends for that than by doing a stream that I'd promised to do back on StreamMe? It has to do with uh, with some very, very cunning, super smart, super, super smart Africans talking about those 419 guys, talking about the Nigerian princes out there. Now, initially, when I was originally going to do the stream, I was just going to focus on that. I was going to go over a little bit of history, talk about a few things, power book, you know, events like that. But I found something better. I have found the greatest man to ever live on the planet Earth. He is a scholar, all right, a self-educated man, a self-made millionaire, martial artist, weapons designer, a poet. He is a man known throughout the continent and in his home country of Ghana. And I wanted to dedicate a stream to that winner. I wanted to go over his amazing achievements, talk about his biography. <laughs> Look at the just stunning things that he has developed. You may have seen that Nicolas Cage movie about uh, arms dealers working internationally. This is the real deal. This guy develops high-tech weaponry for Ghana. All right. He is a badass motherfucker. Now, I, I need to adjust. I need to adjust that stream title. I can't call him a modern-day Da Vinci. I need to call him a modern-day Das Vinci. That's right. 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 Oh, our boy. Our boy's got some fucking amazing shit to show us. I didn't want to give it away too soon. But I want to introduce you to somebody, chat. Get ready. Your life's about to fucking change. Sometimes we meet men that are just our superiors. And when we do, we need to recognize that. And I'd like to I'd like to introduce you to that man. So let me take away this background image and put up a picture of our boy, Apostle Sappho. Oh, yeah. That's who I'm talking about. The man that put Ghana on the map. The man that started at multiple industries. I mean, he's published books. He's developed weapon systems. He's created at least 14 or 15 different industries. And he's done it all by himself. I know what you're thinking when you look at this. You're like, did this motherfucker... <laughs> did he watch Coming to America? And he was like, yeah, that's the look I want to go with. Hello, so Sure. He does kind of look like a where are they now version of fucking Easy E, straight out of Compton, right into Africa. All right, but we're not going to judge him by that rockin' bitch and Jerry curl, or the fact that in half the images that are out there on the internet of the Apostle, that he looks like somebody's elderly gram, uh, black grandmother. No, we're going to take a look at just the amazing shit that he's done. But to kind of ease us into that, I wanted to go over a few basic things about just African culture in general. And talk a little bit about the, the Nigerians in particular. Now, if you're unfamiliar, there's, of course, the famous Nigerian prince scam. Where you receive an email telling you that uh, a tragedy has occurred and that the prince of Nigeria needs your help. He needs you to take all his gold. He's just going to give it to you. He needs to get it out of the country. All you've got to do is pay a small nominal fee to help him transport that fucking gold. Oh, you're going to be rich, and you'll be helping royalty. Of course, you're not actually helping royalty. You're getting royally fucked instead. But it's pretty pervasive, especially in certain nations. And Nigeria loves to do that sort of shit. Don't believe me? Take a look at our boy here. Now, how the fuck you scam somebody into building a fake airport for 242 million fucking pounds, I don't know. Now, granted, he only got 10% of that. That's the commission fee that he took off the top. But I want you to think for a moment. This motherfucker impersonated a government official and convinced a bank, convinced a bank to give him 24 million pounds. Of course, he ended up in prison and then later on charged with murder. 
But you got to give him a round of applause. That's the Goku get him attitude that I fucking appreciate in this world. Going out there, making that money, getting those dollars. Could you imagine being the motherfucker that worked at the bank that approved that loan? <laughs> You're not going to be around very much longer. Oh, our boy, though, made that money. Maybe he got a few days to spend it before they sent a fucking assassination squad for him. I don't know. But I, I appreciate the effort. Of course, there are the numerous 419 scammers, the different people running cons from Nigeria and other African countries. <laughs> uh, now, there's a bit of a pushback. Uh, and the initial stream was going to kind of talk about that, about people fucking with them. There, there are multiple YouTube channels. You can look up stuff like Hoax Hotel. Well, granted, they mostly deal with Indians now. But occasionally you'll get a Nigerian thrown in there. But for a while on the internet, there was a, a bit of a pushback. People like to fuck with the scammers. They'd get in contact with somebody, and then they'd come up with a clever way to embarrass them. Sadly, I can't show you the really funny stuff on YouTube. If I was still on Streamly, I could. So you're not going to get to see naked black men with, uh, <laughs> with weights hanging from their testicles, holding torches, standing on top of lawn furniture. But I can show you something a little more family-friendly. Oh, I, I want to help you, Mr. Nigerian Prince, but I need to make sure that you're a real person. Could you could you take this sign and hold it up so I can verify you are who you say you are? No, no, don't worry if you can't read English. Just just print it on a sign and take take that picture for me. It's quite a fun little game of cat and mouse. Who can fuck who the hardest? Who's gonna, who's gonna make that money? And who's gonna be a laughing stock on the internet? I don't know. Do you think he can read English? I mean, maybe he really does want those holes filled with cum. And maybe this man just cannot believe that shit is not fucking butter. I don't, I don't know. It's always possible. And it's not always a, a straightforward money scam. It's not always an email or fake tech support or a uh, call from an IRS agent saying the government's coming to sue you. Sometimes it's just really horny Australians <laughs> getting, getting made assholes of by entire factories full. Of Nigerian scammers. Oh yeah, I can really show you the chart. Sure, Yo. please. Yeah, show me. Thank you. And I, I can see here he says, "Wanna play now?" Yeah, I'm want, horny. You want you, you you mean like want play video cam with me? Video cam. Yeah, the video cam with me. To do what? To do fun. Like sexy sex, stuff. Sex stuff and all that things. And I'll make sure to uh, make him happy. Happy like you feel a lot of time. He thinks you're a woman. Yeah. And so what do you do with him? Does he show you himself? Yeah, he saw me himself. Even I see him naked. Naked. Full naked. He doesn't see anything. On the video. How embarrassing would that be? Imagine you're some middle-aged, fat fucking Australian, and there you are with your didgeridoo in your hand, talking to Shaniqua. Only Shaniqua's not actually Shaniqua, it's Tyrone. And Tyrone works at a factory full of like 40 other Nigerians. And they're gathered around a monitor watching you masturbate. And they're 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 sizing you up, they're giving pointers and snickering. As you're just sitting there pulling on your pud. And then eventually they get you to send them a check. That is some sad fucking shit. So this gives you a little bit of an idea. Just some of the money hustles out there. From catfishing to 419s to Nigerian princes. To even screwing over uh, entire <laughs> large international banks by building fake airports. But that pales in comparison to our boy here. The Apostle. I don't think you understand just how famous this man is. We're going to look over his accomplishments. I'm going to show you the video that initially <laughs> that initially caught my attention with his uh, creative mindset. He's really out there just doing some amazing shit, and I want to share that with you. So let me pull up his bio. Let's uh, read through the just amazing life that this man has, has led. I think you're going to be fucking stunned. Uh, let me pull it up here. Ah, uh, here we are. This is from Africa Redemption Magazine. Quick facts. Okay. Born in 1948. Hometown of uh, Ashante, Bikwai. A nationality, Ghanan, from Africa. This is Apostle Doctor, Kwadu Safu Kantanka. And let's, let's dig in. Let's see what this man has done in his life. And then we're going to go look at his amazing, amazing 
accomplishments. Executive Summary Apostle Doctor is a mysterious but great man to have surfaced on the earth. He is a preacher, inventor, innovator, physicist, chemist, biologist, agriculturalist, philanthropist, and the star of Africa. He is the world's greatest multidimensional scientist and technologist of all times and has carried out the great philanthropic activity in Ghana. He funds all these exercises with revenue from his numerous investments. He's also the founder of the Christo Asafo Church, the great COSA network of companies and many other institutions. His mission is to redeem Africa from bondage. Brief veracity. First African to manufacture engines, vehicles, aircrafts, and heavy-duty machines. Not only, okay, not only did he create and manufacture this, he did so manually. This motherfucker did it by hand. He hand-built, manufactured, and invented engines, vehicles, aircrafts, and heavy-duty machinery. I want to see white people do that. I want to see the white man try to go toe-to-toe with those accomplishments. He's the first man ever in the world to have manufactured a bass guitar with seven strings. The manufacture of gadgets and machines with extraordinary features. The only man on earth capable of producing metals from seashells and palm husks making metals renewable. The only individual on planet earth who practically cuts across the length and breadth of invention and innovative sciences. He is the most mysterious man on earth. It is practically impossible to comprehend his fucking level of wisdom. And he has won several awards from reputable institutions. I think I think maybe you know you have a better idea of who we're dealing with. He's hand built everything you can imagine. He invented them. He created a bass guitar with seven strings. And he found a way to make metal renewable by using coconuts? What did he say? I'm sorry, palm husk. Palm husk and seashells. I I'm I'm actually stunned. I'm a little I'm a little stunned and embarrassed to be in the presence of such a great man. Now, most people don't know this. All right, they're they're unfamiliar with the fact, but Africa is the home of innovation and invention. I know a lot of people have this idea oh, that, oh my God, Africa, that's some backwards nation. People can't develop things there. People aren't capable of innovating, of inventing, of coming out with the next great new technology that's going to sweep the world by storm. Well, naysayers, let me show you, let me show you a little bit of African innovation. I want to show you an African bike. <laughs> I want to show you a handmade African bike because I want you to understand the level that our boy here is on that the apostle is standing on all right he comes from a proud lineage of great inventors and innovators and creators and scientists our international man of mystery so let's take a look at the Chudu <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right you know what why I, I I'm sorry again I'm in the presence of greatness it's hard for me not to to be humbled by it the most difficult part is whittling everything down so that the parts fit together. Almost all the parts come from the region. Pascal and his colleagues go at it for up to three days until everything fits. What do you got to say now, white people? I bet you never thought, hey, I'm going to take that telephone pole and whittle it down until it's just an obnoxiously large fucking log. I'm going to stick, I'm going to put a, a spring in the middle that's not really connected to anything, but it looks good. All right, aesthetics are important. Bitches love big ass springs. The bigger the spring, the better the puss. That is, uh, that is, uh, you know, I don't even think, I, I, I don't even know what to say really. Uh, that's one yabba dabba bike right there. This is some shit you'd see on the Flintstones. All right, hand-built, hand-crafted. Beautiful. Only then is the Chukuru ready to roll. 
not only transports people, but staggering loads of just about anything. It's like butter. Did you see that suspension? A nice, smooth, air-like, cloudy feel to it. Oh, it's very relaxing to ride your telephone pole down the street. Just strap some fucking wheels onto that bad boy and go pick up some bitches. <laughs> in downtown Goma, a statue has been erected in honor of this prized means of transportation. We used to not have things like motorcycles. But we had the Chukudu to help us transport goods. It was invented here in Goma. Proudly locally made. Locally made, locally sourced. Beautiful. You know, if you could just combine this technological innovation with the culinary abilities of the Haitians, you would have a superpower unrivaled in the world. To get to the basketball court, which acts as a preparation area for the dirt cookies, you have to cross this open sewer, which is littered with animal parts and trash and other nasty things, to get to an area where the cookies are laid out to dry out in the sun. You can see that these are still very wet, not quite ready to be served, but this is literally dirt being prepared for humans to eat on top of other dirt and filth on this beautiful basketball court right next to the open sewer. They make their delicious dirt cookies. I love how fucking disgusted he was. He can't, he can't hide his contempt. These filthy motherfuckers and their dirt cookies. They use shit as spackle and hold them together. Just uh, quite amazing, really. You can take your uh, telephone pole bike on down to the fucking sewer system and pick up a delicious dirt cookie. That's living the high life right there. So I want you to keep that in mind, those uh, brilliant innovations and inventions, as we start to take a look at some of the things that the Apostle has created. We're going to be looking at uh, especially his military technology, because I don't think the rest of the world is prepared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ghana. And this man has basically created the, would it be Ghanaian? Ghanaianese military from hand. Remember, he's manufactured everything manually. And he provided all the metal for the machines from fucking seashells. So he's he's really out there building it up. The United States, Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, doesn't matter. They're going to bow down to the Ghanaian military might provided by the apostle himself. But uh, let's let's jump back into this, and then we'll start looking at the videos, and uh, you're going to love them. <laughs> you're going to fucking love the future tech coming from Ghana, especially from the Apostle. Peace be upon him. Early life. Apostle Dr. Kawado Safu Kanataka was born in Bakwai in the Ashanti region. As a child, he had a deep passion for science and technology. After closing from school, he would quickly do his homework and rushed to the farm to get sticks for designing cars, helicopters, and planes. He designed machines and automobiles that had never been seen in the town. The level of wisdom displayed by the young Sappho through his speech and handicrafts astonished lots of people. This earned him great respect from the community, including the youth and the elderly. Apart from his deep interest in studying nature, he loved sports. He was a very good footballer, musician, and dancer. It is therefore not surprising that he started manufacturing musical instruments as an early part of his life. After basic school, he attended the Ghana Technical Works Institute in Kumase. He thereafter had a three-year stint as a welder at the Volta Aluminum Company. I, do you understand? He was a child prodigy. He designed automobiles nobody in his town had ever seen one before. They were all riding telephone pole bikes, and our little guy here took some sticks and made cars for everybody. That's the kind of innovation really takes the breath away. But he's also a deeply spiritual man. On February 3rd of 1971, he founded his own church, the Christo Asafo Christ Reformed Church. The Christo Asafo faced some economic challenges to solve these the Apostle 
embarked upon preparing soaps that cured skin diseases. Many were amazed to see a man of God roaming the towns and villages with soap on his head, advertising with his mouth to attract customers. This made some people uh, question his legitimacy as being a man of God. But the apostle was not bothered by this. He knew he was a great man and had a specialty mission to accomplish on earth. But it was just a matter of time. He also embarked on selling cooking oil and foodstuffs, farming, fishing, and many other trades and entrepreneurial ventures. He did all of these alongside the preaching of the gospel. So our little innovator, our little Sappho, our apostle, designing cars by hands from wooden sticks, refining metal from seashells, and creating soaps that cure skin diseases. Somebody needs to get him in touch with DSP. All right, that soap business needs to come back. I know Kate left, or <laughs> cat, or whatever. Get that soap running again. Somebody needs to tell Dark Side Phil we can cure his fucking gout. A holy man from Ghana has the soap necessary to get rid of that heinous affliction. From his humble beginnings, it appeared lots of people as a shock when they saw him donating the little he had to the poor and needy in society. He also manually dug wells for villages and communities to obtain good drinking water. All of these wholeheartedly and free. The apostle and his Christo Asafo church were synonymous to philanthropy. In 1980, he began organizing annual charity shows where lots of food stuff from farms, clothing, and other items were distributed to the poor and needy in society. He also exhibited some of his inventions <laughs> at such shows, and he's been doing this since 1980. Every year he puts together a, uh, a technological showcase of his greatest inventions. Would you like to see, chat? Would you like to see some of the amazing things that our man has built here? I'm going to give you a sneak preview. I want to wet the whistle a little bit before we get into the heavy stuff. Before we get into future tech, I want to show you something that you can at least comprehend right now, today. I want to show you Safo. I want to show you his super helicopter coming soon to the Ghanaian Air Force. Take a minute. Really appreciate it. Now this bad boy comes loaded with at least five firecrackers. Two of them are taped onto the little stubs that should be wings. Three of them, which you can buy at any retailer around the 4th of July, come preloaded underneath the nose of the aircraft. This beautiful helicopter is going to be the front end, the, the cutting edge of assault technology from Ghana. Now, <laughs> you may be thinking to yourself, can that fly? The answer is no. Sadly, this aircraft is so powerful, they haven't taken it out for a test drive yet. I mean, looking at the manufacturing quality, you can see the welds are just fantastic. Uh, the wheel work is very good. It looks like he put a rocketry engine on the very back <laughs> of the tail of the fucking helicopter. Now, I'm not sure why he did that. Maybe that's like a... Uh, a pilot suicide button, you can hit that and at least seven or eight firecrackers fire into the cockpit so you don't get taken alive. I'm pretty sure you can't hit an enemy with a, a missile launcher pointed directly at the back of your fucking head. But then again, I'm not the brilliant apostle. I haven't made these super technologies. And when I say super technologies, I really mean it. In fact, you know what? Let's get into it. Let's take a look at some of the Apostles' great creations, and we'll, you know, in between, read more about his amazing biography. Let me just pull this up here. I think you're going to really like this. Now, for all you kids out there that like your video games, that like your halos, I got something real fucking special for you. I'm going to show you what it looks like to see Master Chief in real life. We're talking full-on military body armor. Developed and made, manufactured by the Apostles' own hands. Take a look at Ghana's future super soldiers. I, I fucking love the design of this. It's, it's like he took, he took a football uniform and he painted it how he thinks it looks. He, he watched like a couple of Rambo movies or something. And he's like, yeah, that kind of camouflage will work, I think. 
I mean, sure, we're in Ghana. It's not really heavy jungle or forest. It's more just kind of shitty brown everywhere. But let's paint it pure green. Let's get those football pads painted. Get them attached. And then let's, um, I don't know, let's put some more firecrackers on their arms. And can we get some hoses on the back? I don't know what these hoses do, but I'm sure they serve a military purpose. Now, this guy back here with that gun, that's old-fashioned shit. All right, this is the future. These men right here are the future. You know you're dealing with a military badass when you go out onto the battlefield and you see a super soldier stalking on over to you and they've got open-toed armor. <laughs> I don't, they don't even need to protect their feet. All right, the enemy's never going to get a chance to shoot them in the foot. So we don't need to cover that up. Just let their bare feet be in there. And sure, there are cracks all over the armor and it doesn't cover the entire body. And I'm pretty sure those are bicycle helmets. But maybe, maybe these wires provide like an electrical current that prevent bullets from ever penetrating. All right, the, the fucking Apostle hand-built all three of these. And this vehicle behind us. Now that looks like that's a, that's a, a personnel carrier that the Russians would be jealous of. Hey, one night, one night, one night. Aha. I'm going me. Now we know. My head, the head, and the anchor side, this is. Now we are higher than the end of the top. You see the jagged edges of this shit that hasn't even been hammered in properly or welded together? <laughs> just, could you admit, I, I, in fact, I think they just, they literally drilled holes to put hoses in there. And I don't, I don't even know what the hoses do. I'm not sure what these fucking hoses, what purpose they serve, or why there are giant lug nuts and bolts on the, just outside of the fucking shoes. That, I don't, none of this design, I'm pretty sure that's a giant gap right there. That's his foot. So, okay, it doesn't cover you in the front or the back. Giant holes in there. And, of course, there are giant triangular gaps in between where we couldn't get the metal to overlap. Now, I don't speak Ghanaianese, but I'm pretty sure he's saying, hey, check out our bitching, our bitching uh, super armor and our amazing... Would you like to see the inside of the ATV? Would you like to see this personnel carrier? I think you'll be surprised at how well made this is. I mean, that could take a direct missile hit, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Always love the handicap ramp for the soldiers to go up and down. Always super important. Now you may be thinking, how did they build this massive thing? Well, we'll watch a video where they show you how they actually make it. I think you're going to be really impressed with the uh, Ghanaianese craftsmanship that goes into these bad boys. That's a very I love how they're very impressed with the ramp. They want to focus on that for a little while fit lots of people in there let's i want to show you the interior of this bad boy oh here we go here we go i wait till we get to the front of the vehicle uh, you're gonna love it it'll take a second to get there but you're gonna love it oh oh oh, oh shit let's see if he goes back and does it again i want you to watch the middle of the vehicle when he walks over it <laughs> to see how well this is armored Let's see, what kind of technology do we have in this minivan? Apparently, you look at the dash. <laughs> this is a minivan that they put foam on and then built sheet metal around. He's got a nice CB radio from the 1980s in here. There's a monitor hooked up to nothing. <laughs> We've got two fans for no reason. Oh, come on, walk over that panel again. I, I want to show people. I want to show people this fucking panel. Oh, he's not going to do it. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm going to back this up. It's really important. You see how well armored this is. All right, watch his foot as he goes up the ramp here. In fact, uh, can I full screen this? I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this on stream. I really hope you can. When he steps on the fucking sheet metal ramp to go up to the front seat in the Ghanaian 
armored personnel carrier, it, you can see right through the bottom. You can see the fucking dirt underneath. <laughs> if this thing dries over a landmine, they're fucked. If this thing, if this thing tries to go over any kind of explosive, if a kid sneezes at this thing, they are absolutely 100% fucking dead. There is no surviving that. Oh, uh, and I forgot too. You can see another beautiful armored bi uh, motorcycle helmet sitting next to the stick shift on this mom's minivan that's been retrofitted to be cutting edge carrier technology. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Oh, is that not showing up on stream? God damn it, it's not. I'm sorry, chat. Let me see if I can adjust this. Okay, maybe you can see it now. I didn't. I didn't get a chat or a chance to uh, double check on the stream. Hopefully, there's a bit of a delay. Thirty seconds. It's coming up. Believe me, it's worth it. It's absolutely 100% worth it. If you look underneath his right foot, you will see what I'm talking about. A little bit of an oopsie. A little bit of an oopsie. Not as big of an oopsie as taking out a military uh, personnel carrier onto a battlefield and then being, you know, dead. Dead. Being killed because somebody fucked up a little bit. A little bit of a mistake. A little bit of a snafu out on the killing fields of Ghana. All right, let's go back. We should read more about our apostle because he's, he's created, he's invented so many things. It's not just ATVs and super technology and helicopters. Oh, there's so much more involved in this chat. Where do we leave off here? In 1980, the Apostle began organizing annual charity shows where lots of food stuff from his farm school. Okay. Uh, he's now on his 33rd annual edition. The church which started in a crew, a new town. Without any branches today, the Cristo Asafo has 137 branches in Ghana and other international branches in Verona, Italy, London, and the United States. You can join his church chat. You can join the Apostles' Church and have his divinity flow over you so you can design super helicopters. The Acristo Asafo, apart from its belief in the Trinity, also believes in the infinite intelligence that God has given mankind is not limited to any one race. And that by working in perseverance, science and technology as demonstrated by its visionary leader, the Apostle, Africa, can be redeemed. Uh, this talks a little bit about his mission statement for his beliefs. He believes that the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. Hard work and perseverance in his are his most cherished words. He teaches that the way to success is identifying talents, <laughs> improving on them, and applying the same benefit to this uh, or the same to the benefit of society. He believes God created everyone in his own image. Therefore everyone is created with a purpose and has equal capabilities and abilities to redirect their own destiny. And looking at this helicopter, I can believe him. Looking at this bad boy of modern technology built by hand manually with the metal from seashells, I can believe that our apostle is completely correct here. His mission, of course, is to empower Africa. And how is he going to do it? He's going to do it with his technology. Now, we already talked about the seven-string guitar, and we saw a little bit of his armored personnel carrier. But I want you to see that his military technology goes far beyond retrofitting a fucking minivan with some sheet metal add-ons. Uh, no, he, he customizes fully operational tanks for warfare. Uh, once you see this, you'll understand why other African nations fear Ghana. Have you ever thought to yourself, hey, what would my golf cart look like if I if I made it metallic and put a little hose on the top of it? <laughs> what, what would a mobility scooter that's been armored up to look fearsome, how would that actually drive? Well, Dr. Safo wondered that. The apostle had a vision from God that this super tank would one day ride across the plains of Africa like a proud lion, conquering all his foes. Loving it. Now, how much do you want to bet right here is the missile launcher for the fireworks? And right here is the giant gap where your enemy throws a gas grenade and you die inside this metal coffin. Oh, 
Every man start to change your name. I have made your name. Russia thank you. Behold the technological wonder of Africa. It even goes in reverse. Let's look at the weapon system. Oh, that is a fearsome cannon there. I see one, two, three, four, five, six firecrackers. Six firecrackers. That kind of sustained firepower is enough to bring a first world nation to its knees. <laughs> you can hear a fucking car alarm in the background. This thing probably hit it with an M80 by mistake during the weapons demonstration. Oh, look at that. That's a anti-air system that comes installed on the super tank. Um, that's at least one, two, three, four, five firecrackers all aimed up in the sky, ready to take out any planes or drones that might come after. And of course, this is a anti-impact armor. It falls off immediately once it's hit with anything. Uh, be it a high-end explosive device, or a baseball, or maybe a clump of dirt, just shatters off and protects the chassis. This is real, by the way. This guy, his whole, he's been holding a technological demo for 30 years, showing off this shit. And people think in Ghana that he is a fucking genius. He has 135, or I'm sorry, 137 churches internationally that pay him money through tithing. He has multiple businesses. We haven't even gotten to the cars yet. <laughs> he sells this shit to the Ghana government. They buy this from him. So this crazy, duct taped together fucking mess of an armored vehicle, he's getting paid for it. So when we were looking at those scams earlier with the 419 guys, the Nigerian prince, even the airport guy, pales in comparison to getting a military force to buy an armored golf cart with firecrackers attached. Yet the apostle, uh, God, God bless him, has found a way to do it. Oh, let's let's see if we can get a weapons demonstration. Oh, are they going to show us the rocketry system in action? Oh, they might. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> it's it's going to shoot down some planes, guys. Here we go. That's right. I'm sorry. Did he say "das right"? That's right. Das right. You take a look at our firecracker weapon rate. That's right. 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 Yes, Chad, I think you're right. I think this is what Wakanda was based on. I think this is where they got their idea for the Black Panther movie. Fuck the comic books. They looked up Dr. Dr. Apostle Safo and thought that's the man who's going to build the technical uh, hidden super African nation that nobody can deal with. Das right, chat. We we was fire cracking. Das right. I think we're even going to get a special message from the doctor himself playing his seven-string bass guitar. You know who he kind of looks like right there? He looks like Tito Jackson. <laughs> it's just the guy... This guy is like a changeling. Every time you see him, he looks like somebody different. I don't know how he does it. Maybe it's part of super secret nanotechnology he developed that changes his form so assassins can't find him. I'm not 100% certain. But these aren't the only weapon systems. Oh, no. He likes to publish all his videos of super technology up on the internet for people to see. Would you like to see how he builds his amazing super armor for his super soldiers? Pull that up. Actually, let's. Uh, oh, I got a few super jets here. Let me read these really quick, and then we'll we'll jump back in to the amazing technological wonders that Ghana has given us. Oh, blessed be the apostle. All right, we've got one from nigger fourteen eighty eight forty one percent, and it's only getting higher. From Chimera, hey Jim, did you hear Kotaku journalists were fired? Yes, I did hear they got shit canned. They 
from what I understand, it was two different incidents that uh, set off a little autism storm over at Kotaku and Deadspin and all the other Gawker-owned media entities. They had autoplay media ads, and uh, the writers didn't like that. At the same time, was it was it Jalopnik or was it Deadspin? Who was it that had uh, management got a hold of them and said, uh, shut up and just talk about sports. Just shut the fuck up and write about sports. That's what we're paying you for. Apparently, these two things were enough to make their union decide to go uh, ape shit. So now people are getting fired and they're going to strike. Oh, poor Gawker employees. Oh, oh, I'm crying over here for you. My little violin is playing back and forth over here for you. Hopefully you'll survive. From Metacore's Lunacorn Archives. On topic of tech scammers, I recommend Kitabo, or Kitbogo on Twitch. He went above and beyond just prank calling scammers to waste their time. His VM is filled with things like fake window apps. He even has a fake online bank. I'm very dedicated. From Drew... Uh, Jade posted on Twitter that Jim was rushed to the ER. Oh, well, let's pray for Jim. Indigo Jack, now that you have a bit shoot, and they pretty much let you do what you want, uncensored, will you make Deviants After Dark like you said you would? Well, they do let me do what I want. In fact, Transtastic Episode 1 is a pretty pretty open and blunt uh, trans surgery. Uh, bottom surgery. I even show them ice cream scooping the tits out of women, uh, and bit shoot's fine with that. Uh, BitChute's been pretty great. Yeah, so you probably will see Deviants After Dark over there uh, once I get back around to it. Moderator Marcy, the finder stream was scary. Be careful, Jim. You might have a suicided, or you might be suicided by glow in the darks. Press S for spooky in the chat. Press S for spooky. A rip and pepperoni, Jim. How am I going to live with those fucking CIA glow in the darks coming for me? From the autism forums. What do you get when you fuck with a mentally depressed Canadian live streaming? I'll tell you what you get. You get what you fucking deserve. Stay back. From point curation. From autist, or from artist to autist. Thanks for the content you make. Metal Fembot. Fallout 76 Civil War video when? KTTK Gunt Gang Rise Up. Schwang is Sleepy Jim, Jim Bob, Jim Bobbo. Kiss me, faggot. From CC. Shout out to Kate and Jasper Burnell. From Kenzo Crisano. Hey, Jim. I just entered the third trimester of my pregnancy yesterday, and my daughter will be here January 20th. Can I get a B in chat for base baby? Well, I, I don't know. Chat, can you give this lady a B for her baby that's about to arrive? There's a bit of a delay, so we'll have to... They're still doing spooky. I got him like a minute behind. I don't know what the fuck's going on. From Foxman2248. Jim, what the fuck is going on? Why are you streaming so much? Are you Okay. I won't let the CIA silence me, Fox Man. I'm here fighting the good fight. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared of their finders group. From Mike Hunt, that intro, amazing. I'll read a few more and we'll jump back. Uh, Tiberian Fiend, this is for my er, this is for my share of Prince Mabubu Nadudu's fortune. Don't rip me off. Mahala Viking, I miss King of Pole. Please stream with him sometime and see what he has been up to. How about no? From Jean Arc, hey Jim, about to get on a plane. Just wanted to say, or uh, just wanted to say, good to see you on YouTube again. I'll read two more and we'll jump out. Uh, feels good always, 990. I must say, even if I've lost faith in humanity, you've helped me get through my first week of work, and I thank you for it. I'll let the darkness grow. And from Lumberjack Cowboy, N niggers. Well, I see we're all fans of the Boondocks. You know, I will admit. When I was watching the esteemed apostle here, working towards his uh, miraculous innovations, the first thought that really struck me was Aaron from the Boondocks must know who this motherfucker is. Because that's the only thing I can think of when I watch this particular clip. It's all just nigger technology anyway. What you call it? Nigger technology. Technology for nigger. Das right, chat. Das right. Now we left off. We haven't even gotten to his automobiles. We're gonna we're gonna jump into the amazing Katanka. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just gonna call it uh, what Kantanka. Doesn't really roll off the lips. Not very alliterating. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it Katana. All right. I'm gonna teleport behind you with my fancy Katana automobile. So let's read about this. Uh, we know about him being a, a musical enthusiast. He then moved to the uh, manufacture of sewing and embroidery machines. 
corn mills, combine harvesters, solar tunnels. What the fuck is a solar tunnel? If this man has found a way to get sunshine under the earth, I'm impressed. Anti-gravity devices, multi-purpose mobile block molding machine capable of producing 16 to 18 blocks at a time. A human sensor television and many more. Okay, they kind of snuck that one in there, all right? You know, he's he's built sewing machines and corn mills and cars. But the Apostle has also designed solar tunnels and anti-gravity devices. I wonder if the anti-gravity device and solar tunnels power his human censored television. He manufactured his first automobile, the Katana Saloon, in 1998, and a cross-country four-wheel drive Katana on Fat Tofu won in 2006. In 2007, he released an advanced model of the Katana, the Katana on Tofu 2, which was, like all his cars, driven throughout most parts of the country for testing. In December of 2007, the Apostle Katana Outdoor, a 26-foot-long limousine, style cross-country vehicle at the church's 27th annual charity and technology fair he also brought to the public scene the katana jet an air-conditioned four-seater aircraft he had manufactured now i like how they this is a jet a katana jet has a propeller <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's got a propeller it's a special kind of jet engine in 2012 he launched a sports utility vehicle the Katana Narasso, which is powered by a shirt. <laughs> okay, this motherfucker built anti-gravity devices, and his car isn't doesn't run on gasoline. It's powered by shirts. He built a car that runs on fucking apparel. And the same year, his out or his outdoor another vehicle, a four x four, the Katana Despero, which is powered and steering controlled by a wristwatch. That same year, he created a solar-powered non-engine saloon car, the Katana Odenho. Now, we've talked about Katana a lot. Let me show you what these beautiful automobiles look like. I mean, you've seen the craftsmanship. You've seen the fucking craftsmanship that goes into uh, his beautiful military vehicles and his armored bodysuits. So it's probably important that you get a good look. Oh, that's the, that's the advertising that's the advertising music in the background. Uh, this video should have some of these beautiful cars that you can take a look at here. And then a funny story behind where these, how they made these amazing cars. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. These are the Katanas. This is Ghana's own handmade, manually crafted, uh, powered by shirts and anti-gravity devices cars that the Apostle manufactures himself by hand individually each one. Maybe you may be thinking, well, goddamn! I mean, that does look like a functional automobile. What the fuck is going on? I'd like to tell you these bad boys market retail price thirty thousand U.S. dollars. Thirty thousand U.S. dollar dues. The government, by the way, has ordered five hundred of them. What does that work out to? Fifteen million dollars? That's a lot of money. But where are these beautiful cars manufactured? How did our apostle go from making? Uh, fucking armored up golf carts to top of the line luxury automobiles well there's a there's a bit of a secret there you should read the disclaimer the fine print always look for the asterisks uh, when you're going over details like this uh, turns out it's assembled assembled in Ghana not manufactured in Ghana these are Chinese automobiles they cost about ten thousand to twelve thousand dollars he ships them over in parts assembles them and then charges a markup of double the price. So, so for every car he sold to the uh, Ghana uh, government, all 500 of them, you know, $15 million, he made $7.5 million basically putting his own bumper sticker on Chinese-made automobiles. That is a fucking hustle. And they love these vehicles. He buys them. By the way, you can find these vehicles if you go online. You can find these through the Chinese manufacturers and the, the resellers and buy them yourself. There's no reason to walk into a Katana showroom to buy something for $30,000 when, 
when you can Google their fucking website and buy it for 12000 Now, you may be thinking, well, shit, let's go to the website. Let's go take a look at these amazing fucking products. Well, I'd love to, except if you try to go to his website, and um, if you try to go to his website to buy an automobile, you start getting scam alerts. You start getting alerts that pop up saying, uh, scam insight, personal information risk, uh, with long, <clears throat> long disclaimers saying that you're basically going to get fucked. They're going to fize you and take your shit and fuck you. So I can't really go to this amazing website to show you the handcrafted Ghanianese apostle-made automobiles that are powered by anti-gravity technology and uh, cotton t-shirts. So this video is going to have to do it for you. But even though you can track down where these are made, <laughs> this guy, he's very dedicated to his bullshit. He created a car company that resells Chinese automobiles. But in case people you know, ever got wise to him doing that, he built a fake factory. He built his own fake factory that doesn't really make anything except for giant messes. So let me show you this amazing factory that they use for PR tours. Here they are just, just showing off the molds, these beautiful molds for when they're, they're making their automobile parts. Oh, do you see how professional this is? Look, it's all handcrafted. The finest metal from the finest seashells in the ocean. <laughs> Renewable palm metal. This is where this is where the magic happens. They just they make those molds. Gotta gotta pretty them up. Yep, make them look good. <laughs> it's the outside that's the most important part. He, I'm not. If, if this is a 50 minute documentary about a fake factory that doesn't make car parts. He just orders them. He orders them from China. <laughs> and motherfuckers believe him. Very professional, you know when they're when they're pulling those uh, those molds out. You know, this is this is very safety safety first, really. They've got their flammable outfits on, so I think they'll be safe when all that hot metal that's nowhere to be seen anywhere in frame gets poured into these bad boys. That is some fucking dedication. I got a guy. Yeah, that's a, that's a four out of five for me. All right, it's a pretty good job. Your fake factory with your fake fucking products ordered from China. <laughs> and then you make a fake fact just to fuck with the locals. They worship this motherfucker. And he just does, he doesn't stop. He's not satisfied with just fucking with idiots. He's got to make the money doing it. Let's, just to give you an idea, let's look at his rocketry test. People think this guy is some kind of fucking savant in Ghana. Let's take a look at him actually testing out uh, the gun. This I guess is their this is their space program. <laughs> this is their space program. Let's take a look at it. Here he is in his very fancy doctor outfit. So you know he's a professional. That's a scientist outfit. You know this is a big deal. Okay, we're going to the fucking moon. I'll translate for you because I don't think any of you speak the language. He's basically saying I have uh, used my anti gravity technology to create the world's best rocketry. And we're going to go to the moon and kick the American flag over. Because fuck white people. That's right. We're going to go to the moon and <laughs> we're going to plant our own flag up there. We're going to build the 128th chapter of my church up on the goddamn moon. So let's let's jump in. I want to see these amazing rockets in action. <laughs> this is going to be so good. This is the uh, Ghanaian... Well, I mean, it's, it says their army, but I'm going to say it's their space program. Beautiful. Now, how high do you think that's going to go? I think it's going to at least make it to Mars. I like the weight of the firecracker is, is literally bending the rod they have it hoisted up on. <laughs> we was astronauts and shit. So people in Ghana see this and they're like, oh my God. He, he's a fucking messenger from Jesus himself. Come to teach Ghanaians how to how to reach the fucking stars. Oh, here's the, here's rocket test number one. Oh, and off it goes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh that's the end of it. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> mission successful. But can we can we launch it from the water? Is that possible? I think we need to do a lake test. Very scientific lake test for the Ghanaian uh, astrophysics project. Now, can Dr. Asafo's amazing space rocket take off from this fetid water pond that's out back behind his fake factory where he 
pretends that he makes automobiles. I don't know. A very technical process involved here. You've got to take a wooden stick and then push it in the mud just to get the platform ready for rocketry launches. Always, always need to get ready for rocketry launches. Here we go. In this year, no, it does me a year about Swashi. So, on a Yasui, Yasha, Yadishin, you to me with the engine, I didn't engine, I you man, and a coastal almost 800 feet. Almost 800 feet. Well, that's almost to the moon. 800 feet. That's I can't even. How high is that? Has a human being ever built a building that's gone 800 feet into the air? I don't think so. White people in chat, are you feeling pretty embarrassed right now? <laughs> Looking at the Ghanaian space program? That was a water launch 800 feet in the air. I, I, you know, America, it's time to catch up. Okay, we're falling behind here. Let's see test number two. <laughs> this motherfucker drowning in the lake, probably going to get eaten by a hippo. Uh, the mission successful. That one went a whole 20 feet in the air before it exploded into a fireball. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, let's go back to reading. Let's go back. Oh, do you want to read about his plant medicine and animal science? I think you do, Chad. I think you do. Apostle, uh, our good Apostle Dr. Safo here, has also done a magnificent job in the area of plant medicine. He has developed enticing modern forms of administration of plant medicine, making it more attractive to people. The great Koso tea bags, syrups, tablets, injectables, balms, creams, and infusions, etc., which are used for the treatment of acute and chronic diseases, all are part of his repertoire. He has been able to cure diseases which have been tagged incurable, by the world's quote unquote best brains in the health profession. Where does this link go? Oh, we'll, we'll go, we'll take a look at that a little later on. Aside from health, he's also revived the natural preservation of food using plants and herbs. But it's not just plants, he also plays around with animals. In addition to developing herbal prescriptions for the treatment of animal diseases, Dr. Safo uses natural plants in boosting the reproductive potentials of animals, such as rabbits, goats, sheep, and cattle. He's been able to increase the birth rate of domestic animals by over 400%. The plant extracts he uses in such ventures are extracts from leaves, stems, roots, seeds, and fruits. Our uh, good doctor here is also into naturopathy, agriculture, construction, spraying, painting, etc., he is also the brain behind all the architectural designs of his homes, offices, and schools. At Goma, in the central region of Ghana, he and his team of researchers have trained, are working tirelessly in all fields of sciences and technology. He is currently constructing facilities which will be the epicenter of research and development of the real mission, the redemption of Africa. On his 111-acre land, stretch up in Goma in the central region, at the same stretch, he arms to, uh, or aims to build up the African University of Technology. Well, with this man behind the University of Technology, I see bright days ahead. <laughs> In fact, let's uh, let's let's look at some more of his amazing inventions. I think somebody put together a, a nice little package that highlights all the amazing things that he is responsible for. I don't know if we've got the anti gravity technology chat, uh, but we've definitely got something. Oh, and so you're aware, he's invented and made everything you're going to see. He has made it by hand, manually. From I don't know if you caught that text there. Uh, these katana televisions and sound systems are controlled not just by the clapping of hands, but by by breathing. How does how does that work? 
maybe if you hold your breath, the volume goes down. But if you pant really loudly, it goes up. Maybe if you ook, if you ook, that that affects the the bass. Maybe I don't I don't know. I'm not sure what the exact breath control for this is. But I'm not a scientist. That's that's <laughs> that's not up to me to decide. Oh, I see. That makes sense. You you blow on the television to turn it on. Just breathe or blow air on your television turns it right on. Oh, you just bye bye and just wave at the TV and it goes away. <laughs> so you wave at your television, turns it off. You go up and you breathe on it, turns it on. Oh, and all these computers, by the way, he didn't source the parts on, like, Best Buy. He built them himself, again, by hand. Uh, he built the motherboards. He built all the components. And then he assembled the computer, wrote the programming language to run the operating system, which he, again, by himself, created. Africa dwell in the bondage, I say, long, long ago. Fight and cry, cry. <laughs> Some good shit. Handcrafted with care. And depression. Oh, Africa. Turn from your psychopath and follow the Redeemer. Can't Redeemer. Africa awaits you to set her from captivity. Oh my god, he waved bye-bye at the TV and it turned off. <laughs> Please show him blowing on it. From mental slavery, Africa will be free from something. Okay, so it didn't turn off the didn't, didn't turn on the first time. Give it another shot. The breathalyzer he built into his television set takes a moment for it to pop on. I'm sorry. This is amazing technology, chat. I'm really, I'm really stunned. Are you feeling it? I want to join his church. They said there are locations in the United States. I can go and worship at the altar of the apostle myself. And maybe he'll teach me how to make handcrafted computers. And make my TV turn off when I wave bye-bye at it. Bye-bye! <laughs> Oh, there's a uh, a video image of that amazing. Remember, we read about this earlier. That's the Ghanaianese uh, jet aircraft fighter that has a propeller on it. The jet aircraft that's powered by propellers. Kind of like his anti-gravity solar tunnels that are powered by t-shirts. Oh, and here's how he, this is amazing. Apostle Doctor manufactures metals from palm kettles and seashells. He then uses these metals to build his engines. They've been off our time. There are so many Goliaths. So arise, arise and kill. Lose our chance. And so Copyrighted and trademarked. First time in the world for metals to be manufactured from parts of living things. <laughs> from trees and seashells. Let Africa free. Oh, free. We need free forever. Oh, oh, redeemer. I say, they've been up for our time. There are so many. 
many Goliaths. So arise, arise and kill. Lose our chance and set Africa free. Oh, oh, oh. free forever. Free forever. Oh, well, let's see. Some of the parts of the Katana jet engine, including the cooling system. Again, all manufactured by the Apostle himself. Free forever. Now look at that, that worksmanship. <laughs> that metalwork. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful piece. I would feel safe flying in the air with this. Yeah, yeah. Africa must be free. Again, another handcrafted design by the Apostle himself. He didn't order this overseas like he did his Chinese cars and then rebrand it as a Katana product. We sold ourselves to the princess. Africa must be free, free, free. Again, you can, you can read that text. Katana Jet. <laughs> what Africa propeller? They're all, they're all stunned and amazed. And if you remember when I said that the like people people buy deeply into this guy. All right, this isn't like just some this isn't some fly by night hustle. This isn't getting Australian meta jack off on film for you. This is their minister of defense boarding the jet. <laughs> the minister of defense of the country came out here to listen to a dude tell him he made a fucking jet airplane with a propeller that was built from metal harvested from palm. And <laughs> And he's probably going to place an order. They ordered 500 cars. So why not order this amazing jet fighter? Actually, I'm going to back that up a second. Is that a fucking stick shift from a Volvo? <laughs> Put a fucking did he put a stick shift in, into his airplane? Truly, truly a genius and the star of Africa. Let's rally behind him for a better Ghana and a better Africa. Whew, I got chills running down my down my spine right now thinking about the creative innovations that this gentleman is <laughs> this gentleman has made can you believe it you know after reading about after finding out about this guy i want to move to africa because they are fucking stupid and if you can make this kind of money he's a millionaire this guy is a multi 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 millionaire he's got 127 churches 14 different businesses the government buys cars and military technology from him he literally puts sheet metal, wraps it around a golf cart, and sticks firecrackers on it. And the Minister of Defense shows up to place a fucking order for it. If he can make that kind of money in Ghana, we all need to go to Ghana. Because they are dumb as shit. And they deserve to be robbed. <laughs> this is fucking amazing to me. We still have some more biography to go through, but let me hit a few of these super chats before we, before we move on. Where did I leave off now? Okay. From Red Target. Hey, Jim, ever drive a manual transmission? Yes. Uh, J.G. Smith. Did you know CIA agents actually glow in the dark? Not joking. Declassified documents include bioluminescence. More info on my channel, J.G. Smith. From Lou Raquel. First and extreme. Now this. The end is nigh. From Joseph Jimenez. All right, guys. I've been going on for a little bit now. <clears throat> We're going to take a five-minute break. So it's time to get a drink, use the bathroom whatsoever or whatever, 
and we'll pick up in about five minutes. From Dr. Conman uh, Kodak, we was Kang's Wakanda forever. From Salmon Seminar, wrong. Rocket Insano with, was Jesse Smollett the ultimate Nigerian scam. Uh, no, you're watching the ultimate Nigerian scam. Except he's from Ghana. Uh, Joseph Jimin is again. Speaking of making that money, you should bring your sexy butt back over to DLive. So I can give you my dancing pudding emotes and all my lemons. From Winter Wolf, having attended a Catholic school with a lot of international students. Nothing filled me more with joy than watching the Ethiopian, Chads, picking on the Sudanese and Nigerians almost every period. From Roar4000, put a compilation of scammers on your bit shoot. Henry A, lost my job. Can I get an awoo? Uh, well, awoo! You're, you're, you're unemployed, Henry! From Terry Cole, I met a guy who ran the Church of Christian Kindness to bait scammers. I volunteered for a missionary position within the group. Uh, doing God's work there, Terry. From Exalt's Earth is Flat Jim. From Max Powers, I saw how the sausage was made. And that looks like a upset face. I hope your tummy could survive it. From Ethereal, I thought Kanye was humble. V, did you hear about a cinema in Paris evacuated because a man screamed Allah Akbar? He planned to steal people's belongings in the chaos. Well, you got to appreciate that hustle. How can I clear this theater out of all these people? I know. Alu Akbar. From Allen Down Under. Shout out to my man, Nick Gers. From Lurik L. Okay, but was he the founder of Gamergate? I think this probably takes... I think this takes the cake. I think this goes above and beyond Gamergate. He got the Minister of Defense to buy a fucking <laughs> a fleet of uh, sheet metal armored vehicles that when you step around inside of them, you can see the ground underneath because they're not sealed together properly. From uh, Brett Granerman, Bush doesn't care about black people. Mario Carter 13, the, biggest the, or the bigger the spring, the bigger she sprung. Nigger nerds rise up. From Kooky Carl's Clown Shoe Emporium, black men are all androgynous girly men. Honkamania 117, a brother can't enjoy a nice stream without Boko Haram ransacking your village. Reality, Nico Nico Ni, Antani no Har Ni Nico Nico Ni, Ego Tadokuru, Yazawa Nico Nico, Nico Ni Te Abaru Love Nico. I hope you enjoyed me butchering whatever the fuck that was. From Veggie Bad, we was the Kangs of Kangs. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you a that's right for that. That's right. That's right! 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 There you go. From Eerist, I just pecked. It's over. Uh, Satan's Advocate, there isn't a sprocket on that bike. From Eerist, you say it like Gan-na, or Ganyan. Uh, good meme, Dr. <laughs> sorry, good meme, Black Dr. Stone. Well, I don't know if I don't know if he's making any uh, alternative antibiotics to treat people's illnesses. What what was it that Doctor Stone did? Oh, I can't even remember the name of it. Oh my God, it was a sulfa-based medication to treat infection, and he had to smelt his own fucking equipment, had to blow glass, collect gas, and everything. From lifeless loser I was looking into the exploits in the Tism Bucks system. Apparently, you can make up to two K in a month and still get government aid. Is this peak? Living the neat lifestyle. WSG Balls G from underscore Kang Nagiver. Roker Boy, search Katana Jet to see the Apostle's greatest airplane. Okay, well, you know what? Let's take a look at that. We'll get back to the rest of the Super Chats in a little bit here. Let's go look at his best jet ever. Tell him if I look up the Katana Jet. <laughs> is this it? I don't know if this is. Oh my God! Yeah, it's on his. It's it's on his official channel, official Sappho. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the peak of the uh, Ganyan uh, Air Force. This is the. This is top of the line, hand built in Ghana itself. This is Apostle Sappho's private jet fighter aircraft. Okay, Chad, let's, before we start this video up, how funny is this video going to be? Is the plane going to actually fly? Or is this going to crash in like five seconds? How many people are going to die 
with this uh, jet fighter taking off to the skies of uh, Ghana. Chet, do you want to do you, do you want to place your bets on where this is going to go? I'm going to say that uh, it makes it 10 feet before it explodes because their rocket system that they've loaded uh, pointing right at the back seat of the pilot accidentally misfires because he breathed too hard on the steering column. Remember, everything's everything's uh, breath activated. I wonder if this guy waving his arms accidentally turns the airplane off. I won fifty mono. What made that is say I could make death with any more any engine. Any one can their propeller, no mina no, a year juma pepe. And the head on a dear, I cast a little bit on a real moon and penny for Nakasas what to one say, a tumia sansier. So I beg you a quack a same you no penny for. They were to me a force of a drum. I'm sorry, did I miss the flight? Where was the flight in this flight video? And the head on a dear, I cast a little bit on a real. What are they bumping rap music in that? What the fuck is this? Head on a dear, I cast a little bit to an amir moon and penny for Nakasan swat to a one say, a to me a sansier. So I beg you a quack a same you no penny for. They were to me a force of a drum pono, a nigger sem cassia pa at my dish ye ya, one more as a chess at Elubli. Mranti quay or she say ye mubaco and nigger cop labby. Ah, here we go. Let's see this bad boy take off. No, where's <laughs> where's the flight footage from this? Okay, well. Uh, they totally made it into the sky. I mean, you can read the title. Aircraft takes to the sky, even though the video showing the aircraft shows no fucking flight footage from it. Uh, it definitely got up there. Definitely that it's beautiful worksmanship. All all made by Dr. Sappho himself. Uh, quite amazing. Quite amazing indeed. Oh, where where are we here? Oh, well, we should we should find out how chosen by God he is. This blessed man. Biblical illusions. Dr. Sappho also manifests the principles used by men of God and his technological prowess. Here are a few examples. In a popular Bible narration, Moses used a walking stick to split the Red Sea open. The action, based on God's instruction, was to pave the way for the Israelites to escape from Egypt. Based on this, Dr. Sappho manufactured a four wheel drive car. <laughs> that is ignited by a walking stick. So he read the story of Moses and thought, you know what? I'm going to one-up Moses. I'm going to build a four-wheel based automobile and it's going to be ignited by a walking stick. Moreover, Moses achieved his objective by splitting the Red Sea by pointing his walking stick at it. The katana on Tomfo is also started by pointing a walking stick at it. I'm seeing some just amazing things. I can wave bye-bye at my TV and blow on it to turn it on. Or I can wave a stick at my car to start it and then wave the stick around to steer it. Uh, Joseph was able to store food during the seven years of plenty harvest and seven years of famine, making it 14 years in all. But the food did not go bad. Similarly, Jacob, the son of Isaac, used plants to cause sheep and goats to breed uh, streaked, speckled, and spotted young ones. In the same light, the star of Africa uses natural plant extracts to preserve his farm produce. Oh, yeah, we read about this earlier. He also increased their uh, mating abilities by 400%. During creation, God breathed into Adam and he became a living soul. Taking inspiration from this, the good doctor manufactured televisions, sound systems, air conditioners, and many other gadgets that are powered by the human breath. Breathe on them. And they are turned on. Oh, we've got some, I don't know what the social observations are, but let's find out. The apostle also looks around him and transforms what he observes into technological gadgets and machines. Here are some practical examples. During the commissioning of the Flagstaff home, the official residence of Ghana's president, which was telecast remote controls are used to open the curtains. Upon seeing this, the apostle decided to manufacture curtains that will be open and closed with hand clapping. The name of this real-life inspired innovation is the Katana Curtains. Just clap twice and the curtains will open if they're closed or close if they're already open. The doctor drives to work each day. He sees men and women laboriously sweeping the street to clean them. He therefore manufactured the Katana Street Sweeper and Garbage Collector. This machine was purposely made to make such work easier. It's a vehicle which sweeps and collects garbage from the street. How far behind is Africa from the United States? I almost feel like our good doctor here is watching infomercials. Like he's watching 1990s infomercials and getting his innovation ideas from that. 
because he he made a street sweeper, but he also made the clapper. He invented the clapper. When two friends are parting, one would usually wave uh, the other goodbye. Based on this, the Apostle manufactured televisions, air conditioners, home theaters, and other gadgets that are turned off by waving to them. When you're going to bed and want to turn them off, just wave bye-bye, and like, <laughs> like you do with a friend when you're parting, and they'll go off. And when you want to call a friend who is quite a seeing distance from you, you may decide to clap or whistle to draw his or her attention. That's why the good doctor manufactured television, sound systems, and air conditioners that you can clap to turn on and off. A lot of very proud of his clapping technology. Oh, oh, we got we got a real issue coming up here. A little poo in the loo bit. Sanitary problems in Africa and their affiliated diseases are also cause of worry to the apostle. After using the katana water closet, clapper whistle and it will flush by itself. The water closet also voices in spoken words, and twi is widely spoken in uh, the Ghanaian uh, language. To inform you of what you need to do... <laughs> what? Okay. So, when you're in Ghana, and you take a big shit, I'm talking an earth-shattering shit in a Ghanaian toilet, all you gotta do is whistle and clap your hands, and the toilet will flush yourself, and then it'll thank you for defecating in it. So just give it a whistle, and then it'll say, thank you, sir, and flush itself. Clearly, this man is a fucking saint. And efforts to curb the increasing statistic of road accidents, the star of Africa's cars alert pedestrians in spoken word when they're reversing. <laughs> beep, beep, nigga, get out of the way! They also alert the driver in cool speech to check the water, oil, brake fluid type, etc. before embarking on the journey. These, these are some just stunning, stunning fucking creations by the Apostle himself. Oh, but he does miracles too. Of course he does. Uh, the Apostle is a special man of God. He preaches the gospel and performs miracles within and outside of his congregation. From healing the sick, raising the dead. <laughs> he raises, raising the dead. He raises the dead. Anti-gravity technology and raises the dead. Commanding the ground to split open for water and uh, tilapia to emerge and form a fish pond. And many other wonders beyond the scope of this text. He reminds people that miracle is not my mission on earth. So it's a side gig. This dude, his side gig is raising dead people back to life. <laughs> he resurrects the dead as a hobby. Uh, you can see his multiple companies. Look at all of these. Uh, Coso Limited, Automobile Company, Coso Clinic, Company Limited. Uh, the, he's got a quarry. Uh, Imperial Limited, Imperial Nail Manufacturing, uh, his, his schools and his church. He's even got, what is this, a senior high school, vocational and technical schools. Most notable among them is the Apostle Sappho School of the Arts and Scientists, also known as the Great Ass. <laughs> Holy shit. Cold stores. Uh, deals in frozen food, apparently. Uh, he's got a vision clinic, in case you need to get your eyes checked. His own clothing line. He owns a football club. Multiple farms. Oh, here's some other names, in case you're wondering what this godly man is called. The Apostle Dr. Guado Safu Cantana is also famously known as the Star of Africa, the Technological Hope of Africa, the Father of the Needy and Physically Challenged, and Man of Wonders. Some people, especially those within his vicinity, just call him father or chief due to his passion to promote the welfare of others. This motherfucker raises the dead. Built anti-gravity technology, has a walking stick powered automobile, builds military, has the defense minister of the country come out and order his fucking golf carts with uh, fireworks attached. Sold an order of $15 million worth of Chinese automobiles to the government because they're fucking retards. This is how you scam a nation. This is really fucking incredible. I mean, this goes well beyond a 419 scam. This goes well beyond all that other shit. This dude is putting in the work. They think he's the black Jesus. I'm almost convinced that Ghana thinks he is black Jesus and lets him get away with whatever he wants to do. Just rolling in that money. 
I, I wonder if he's like self-aware. You think he has a moment where he's like, my God, they're so fucking stupid. They're so dumb. And I'm making so much money off these stupid fucking idiots. That has to cross his mind occasionally. <laughs> there has to be a moment where it just seeps in. Holy shit. Let me hit some more of these super chats here. Where do we leave off? Uh, Slit Bodmot. Is this real life? Wakanda. Yes, it is. This is this is actually Wakanda. From underscore Wakanda Rising. Gabrielle Montreal. We was Halo. From Black 11245. This is actual Wakanda. Yes, it is. James Beanick. Nagundam Weave. My favorite Gundam series. From x 1220. Kang Tech. Joan Arc. Tyrone Start. King of Wakanda. From Eros. Uh, we, Red Acted, Foreshadowing Marvel Comics, 40K, Foxman 2248, this stuff made the Middle Eastern, st- Middle Eastern technicals look good. Martin Smocker, that dash can detect any bomb. Hallelujah. From, uh, Perplantia Missionary, they was Kangs who rode around slightly armored apps. Amazing 1985, ayo, hold up. From R- <laughs> Yuri Gressel, Africa, blue gums and failed crops, as far as the eye can see. Tell Danny how big you are. Please tell me that armored car runs on Temple OS. Sadly, no, it doesn't. Our, our, our friend, the great Apostle Doctor, wrote his own operating system. I, I I don't know what its name, but I'm sure he's got something amazing to call it. The Katana something. From Sarah H., we was Legos. From Cheesy, even the Africans believe in merit over race. Uh, no step on snake. Reminder that these are the high school workers and doctors we import every year into the West. From Yuraha 454 Jesus, Wakanda's been busy. I'm genuinely spooked. Winterwolf, didn't know the orcs from Warhammer were real. We was, we was war bosses and shit. I'm telling you guys, we, we have to go. We have to go to uh, Ghana. Why wouldn't you? It's <laughs> This is just, this is money on the table. This is fucking money on the table. We can't, we can't walk away from this. They're begging to be taken advantage of. I mean, this is this is a dude walking down a dark alley at night with his wallet hanging out of his fucking pocket and a giant sign around his neck that says, I just withdrew $10,000 in non-traceable bills from my bank account and I'm all alone and my phone is turned off. That's what, that's what, that's what Ghana is. They're just, they're begging to be exploited. From Pageful. The high tech came straight out of Wakanda office of Kang's and <laughs> Egyptologist woke. From Sus Jim say, Professor, give Dom an A. Shadow hum- or humor, let's Wang Chung tonight. Alden the Blue, I can't wait to see their ninja stealth for- <laughs> force that walks around with a cheap box of smoke bombs and sharpened throwing twigs. The Bones Home, Asterios, uh, can- <laughs> Asterios abuses women. I'm sure he'll love that. Rock and say no. Dis tank make the loudest boom. Wog from Nissan Kiggers. <laughs> Hide in metal basket. I can't read that kink speak. Are we enemies hiding metal baskets? Dis cowards. Te I, I don't even. I, I, I just, I'm not at that level of proficiency for that language. From Joey Jojo. This is the new Metal Gear game and it looks awful. Konami really took the series into a weird and confusing direction after they fired Kojima. Uh, yes, they did. I'm not 100% sure what they're doing. I have a few more amazing videos picked out. Well, maybe not amazing, but I have a few more videos showing off his uh, his his work. We can take a look at the creation. Uh, there are hundreds of videos of this guy, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, that was the other thing, too. Apparently, he really is desperate to have a professional Wikipedia article, but they won't let him have it. If you go to his name on Wikipedia... Somebody keeps trying to write an article talking about how he raises people from the dead and uh, creates solar-powered gravity machines, and they keep wiping it out. So I don't know if any of you guys out there, like, you got an in with Wikipedia, uh, but the word needs to be spread. The apostle needs to have his message uh, spread to the fucking world. It's very sad that Wikipedia, maybe they're, you know, it's, it's like racism. You know, white people can't handle that this black inventor has created so many technological wonders that they're they can't cope and so they keep wiping the page out but if you got an in if you got a little bit of an in uh maybe help him out help a brother out uh, let him get that wikipedia article up so the world knows 
uh, that a new god king has risen. <laughs> a new god king has risen and is spreading his message across the fucking land for everybody. Oh, okay, where was it? Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, we'll do military armor. I think this shows the development process of them making this fucking thing. Uh, yeah, this is this is the right one. Uh, there we go. A big old gay bullseye. A 75 kilogram katana military exoskeleton. Oh, this might be even more new technology. <laughs> That's so good. Okay. All right. So I think this is the prototype. Um, all right. Here's their super metal skeleton over here. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's, it's top of the line military technology. All right. It's got the finest sheet metal to hold it together. Uh, only the highest quality riveting going on with this. And of course, it comes with the most terrifying invention of the uh, Ghanian military. <laughs> why? Why is this? Why would you attach this head and these mannequin hands? Why, what, what is that to scare the enemy? Oh, I get it. Okay, this is this is four-dimensional thinking on the battlefield. You're facing an enemy, and they're wearing exoskeletons. And you go for a headshot, and they don't stop coming. The mannequin head is a decoy, and so are the mannequin hands. The enemy snipers will be so terrified when you keep coming after them because your mannequin head has exploded. They're not going to know what's going on. They're going to think you're some uh, unnatural killer. It's brilliant. The the apostle amazes once again. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at the thickness of that metal and I'm thinking, that's going to stop. That's gonna, that's going to stop some high-end weaponry. Nothing's going to penetrate this. Holy fuck. Uh, let's let's skip ahead a little. Let's let's see this bad boy further along in development. <laughs> oh, here we go. He's getting suited up. He's getting suited up in his exoskeleton. His 65-pound exoskeleton. Yeah, we just attach it right there. That one attachment, that should be secure. <laughs> Does it have firecrackers attached to it? I hope so. Look at how bulletproof this is. No, no, I mean, <laughs> nobody's getting shot through any of these holes. He uses uh, force fields that he developed. Now, this is supposed to be an ex this is an exoskeleton. So it should carry all the weight. It should it shouldn't just carry the weight. It should also improve his strength and speed. So let's let's find if we can I want to see what he looks like walking around in this thing. It must be just silky smooth. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That looks easy as easy as all hell to walk around in. <laughs> so smooth, so bulletproof. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to tip over from the firecracker uh, missile launchers that have been attached to the shoulders. I mean, I, I don't know how I can rate it as far as military technology goes, but I will say uh, the Ghanaian military will probably win the Cosplay of the Year award if they ever go to any conventions. I mean, this is some high-crafted shit. Might not do well in a firefight, but probably take first place. You're going to put those Naruto cosplayers to shame in that bad boy. <laughs> People are going to try to place it. Be like, what is that? What is that? Is that Gundam? What is that? It's so unique. What is that from a video game? What are you wearing? <laughs> this is 
<laughs> He's stumbling around and shit, doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Just beautiful. Oh, they painted it. Oh, can we see the final product? I'm sorry, maybe I was looking at, oh, we've got multiple ones. Well, let's take a look at this. I like the belt buckle. Really says, I'm sheriff around here. How fast do you think he can run? I'm going to say uh, a snail's pace. Oh, it's an automatic firecracker launcher. The enemy will know fear when he sees your fucking uh, 4th of July <laughs> celebration coming his way on the battlefield. Oh, please tell me he shoot. Oh, my God, he does shoot it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, chat. Here, let's take it. Here we go. Weapons test. <laughs> did it just misfire into the dirt? Oh, did it just misfire into the dirt? That's tragic. It just keeps shooting. It doesn't it doesn't stop. It just keeps going and going and <laughs> going. It doesn't stop at all. This is fucking amazing. This is a killing machine on the battlefield. <laughs> And the thing that, that I think makes this the funniest, aside from a dude stumbling around in an aluminum coffin, shooting fireworks randomly into the dirt, is that he probably sold this to the Ghanaian military for like $20,000. I bet they ordered like 100 of these. This dude sold this to a military. There's a military on planet Earth right now that their soldiers are going to wear this into a conflict. But when they get to war with a neighboring nation, they're going to be shooting fireworks all over the place. He's like their Otacon, their Ukacon, if you will. <laughs> Designing their future. Metal Gear. Oh, oh, fear me on the battlefield. Oh, I'm coming to get you. Holy shit. Uh, from Eduardo Ramirez. Look up the 1960s African space program Ara Ara from Rodson. Apparently the guy who directed that short film where the kids for, where the kid rapes his dad to death also directed Heredity. No wonder it was so messed up. Are you talking about something about the Johnsons? Yeah, the one where the boy molests his father. <laughs> he like beats him up and anal fucks him. Yeah, it's a very bizarre PSA. Uh, from Star Asp, Awoke Hotep Pyramid Pilots Confirmed Pierre, Gulf City, Delecto. Jim needs the throne, king of the potato niggers. Stretch, the homosexual. Did you know that Meadow Fembot is a 40-year-old man? Now I do. From Zach Osborne. The captions under the pics are priceless. Heavy slash. Be careful, Jim. He's on his way to creating a real blackling ray from Photon. Let the darkness grow. From CAD Computers TV. Are you telling me, Jim, I won't be receiving the gold from my partnership with the Nigerian prince? I also ordered a car from the Apostle. Can't wait. I'm sure it's going to get... How many miles per gallon do you think that beauty gets? Well, it is Chinese made, so it won't explode right away. But within a week. Anderson Paladin. I chop your dollar intensifies. Rocket Insano. It's like a bunch of children playing make-believe. Isn't it, though? <laughs> it's imitating rather than innovating. From Question Everything. Jesus Christ, Jim. I know you're a boomer, but Norton? Tis the happy... He's our modern-day Vulcan, Vincent Howell. He looks like a black Coach Red Pill from Night of Mirrors. I myself have a fleet of trucks fueled by Jimco caps. 
They get excellent mileage, four out of five stars. James Beanick, remember, we made rockets before you could, peeps. From Pirate Skeleton, he's a regular African Tony Stark. Can't wait for the rise of Dirt Man, the hero Africa deserves. Das right. Oh, you know, we love that's right. This is uh, Das Vinci. Das right. That's right! 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 Oh, I, I love this shit. I, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's children's make-believe. This dude has convinced an entire country he's a genius. And he's the biggest fucking con artist you're ever going to run across. And they are convinced he's on the level. They're buying fleets of automobiles from him. He's just reselling Chinese shit. All he does, all he does is strap sheet metal and aluminum on stuff. And then have it just randomly places fireworks. I've never seen his airplane fly. <laughs> he built a fake factory to screw with people. He owns like 30 fucking businesses, multiple houses. He invented a TV you breathe on and wave bye-bye to. What a wonderful country this is. This is the land of opportunity. This is the real land of opportunity. You can do the most ridiculous, retarded shit there, and it's totally fine. From Alan Down Under, Jim, you need to look up Black NASA on YouTube. It's a mock Ken Burns documentary, and I think you'll like it. From Mario Carter 13, Tyrone and his boyfriend shot their load to the sky. From the cool a or <laughs> from the cool four aid man. 97. Meanwhile, in the Superior West, created by white people, a Frenchman flies on top a drone at a military parade. The real fallen demon. First live, game, er, live stream I've caught. Tell Daddy Derek to pause my furry neck hole, please. Epic Yoshi. Those rockets can take out half a kite. From dyslexia I have, just wait until he finds out baking soda and vinegar. He'll be akin to a god. Lower Cal Free Africa from who? Themselves? Crime, crime, crime. Oh, our boy. You know, I will uh, hit the rest of the Super Chats here in a minute. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little stream. I was going to make this into a video. This was going to be a February video for Kang's month. That some of the stuff just kind of sitting off to the side. Uh, but Transtastic Tales is taking a little longer. It'll be up before Halloween. Uh, but nonetheless, I felt a little bad. And I figured we could all use a moment to enjoy Mr. Jerry Curl, the Apostle Kang himself, inventor, innovator, poet, martial artist uh miracle worker raises people from the dead the apostle sappho say so i threw that together to enlighten you to let all you racist alt writers in the chat know that there's a based black man who does some big thinking down in ghana and uh he's he's running shit yo he's he's making that money creating those products innovating on a level you can't even comprehend and I probably am going to take my hat money and fly down to Ghana and do I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna fleece those dumb motherfuckers for every dime I can. What retarded shit can I come up with to get them to buy? I mean they like firecrackers. I'm gonna oh I know. I'm gonna make motor motorcycle assault vehicles. I'm just gonna weld on a little bit of aluminum, strap an M eighty to the back wheel, <laughs> and I'm gonna sell it to their military. And they'll buy it, too, because they're fucking stupid. Just amazing. Uh, let me... I'll uh, put up the Super Chat thing so people people know. Uh, just as a reminder, there will be a video going up in the next couple of days. It'll be over on BitChute. A copy of the first Fighter stream is up on BitChute, or you can watch an archive on YouTube. There are plenty. The second Fighter stream, the, the conclusion, the last 120 pages of the document, as well as somebody coming on who's researching it for a book, uh, we'll be coming on Halloween evening, so that'll be coming up as well. And then just uh, other videos and things uh, for next month. But that's that's what's coming up this week. I hope you all have a good a good week. If you're having a bit of bad luck, feeling a little under the weather. Oh wait, I'm playing the wrong. I'm playing the wrong thing. There we go. If you're having a little bit of bad luck, feeling a little under the weather. Write the apostle. Remember, he can do anything. He can work miracles, and he said he can do it internationally. You don't even need to be there. You can call him up on the phone, give him your credit card number, and he'll raise somebody you know from the dead. And if you pay if you pay enough, maybe sell your house. He'll give you a shirt-powered car or a walking stick that can activate uh, trucks. Or maybe, if you're really lucky, a solar tunnel 
or anti-gravity technology. I can't make any promises, but give him a ring. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to be willing to help you out. He's a people person. He's a man of the people. All right, so let me get to the uh, rest of the Super Chats, and we'll, we'll finish up the stream. Oh, one second here, guys. From Dango Italiano, that's right, Jim. Africa will be freed by seashells. From Rocker Boy, look up Quato Safo's robots. They are legit just people inside paper mache. Okay, well, now I have to look that up. See, I was going to just go right into Super Chats and finish up, but if there are people trying to pretend they're robots in paper mache, I, I have to look that up. Okay, <laughs> where are they? But see, there's a lot of... He has a lot... You have to understand, he's got a lot of fucking videos. Oh my god, is this from... Oh, okay, okay. Apostle Dr. Kwaju. Oh, okay. You know, we got... I'm going to pull this down for a second. There we go. Would you guys like to see the, 33, the 33rd Katana exhibition? It's like three minutes long, but it'll show us the, the newest technology from the good doctor. I don't know, Chad, are you interested in are you interested in seeing that amazing shit? Let's uh let's pull that up. Oh, where are we here? Yusufu, for the past 33 years, has always championed the cause of Ghanaian inventors with his inventions, but which have not been very commercially successful. He has always invented products that are yet to hit the market. The announcement that Apostle Safo is going into commercial production of his latest inventions have been hailed as good news on display at the 33rd edition of his I just want to see if there's a video of the paper mache robots uh, just give me a moment here oh is this the helicopter oh shit are we going to see it uh, oh this is the helicopter most interesting invention of this edition of the exhibition is the Kantanka prototype aircraft with a rocket launcher and a bazookas this is a demonstration of how it works he made firecracker bazookas <laughs> this, this dude would love Nerf guns. We need to hook him up with some Nerf guns. Thanks. Another is the defense robot. <laughs> this is what you were talking about. That's a dude in a mask. Which is expected to ensure the security of a particular post or area. People showed up to this in uh, like fancy outfits with press badges. What? Which is this? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say that's a dude, and yeah, I think that guy was right. That looks, <laughs> that looks like a guy in a paper mache mask. Oh, this is amazing! It's amazing how easy they are to con. He made a helicopter and plane that can't fly and shoot firecrackers, and he dressed people up as robots, and they paid him money for it. <laughs> the defense minister shows up to this. Holy fuck! Uh, Leon and Claire Kennedy. Jim, can we get some Katana merch on your store? I He'll sue me. I'm, this guy's a millionaire. He will come after me. From Anthony Seibert. Will he make the USA look like a four, or fourth world country? Yes, he will. From Anderson Paladin. We need relief funds for Africa so this Chad can wipe his knob with them. This got me thinking, maybe Hitler? Maybe Hitler. For posterity, the different birth rates of the world scare me. Gary C. African engineering is 90% ingenuity, 5% deaths right, and 11% phony plant-based baloney. Treat yourself to a cutie of old English and use the change for a crack hoe. From Costa, Blizzard made Overwatch 2 to remove the May Hong Kong symbol. Conspiracies and comics, check oi solstice. Tales of Barbic Fury live on Indiegogo. Badass comics about bards and druids and ancient Ireland. This comic is base as fuck. Like Kanye. Uh, okay, well, I, the uh, the name of that, because I probably pronounced it wrong. Well, no, no, I pronounced it. Oi Solstice, Tales of Barbaric, or Bardic Fury. There we go. From Double A, if I hear the weeb phrase one more time, I'm going to break something. Nico, Nico, kneecaps. 
Garmer89, decolonization was a mistake. I ate the juice. Is there a support number we can call for his crap? Oh, God, I wish there was. I bet it's buried out there somewhere. The Onion Control have some uh, neat books, Jim. Plantation Sensation. This was the inspiration for Black Panther. Bad Nut built a tank lately, Jim. Well, I've been inspired to. I'm going to go get me a golf cart and start welding. From Fatty Caddy, why are R the Donald type so against any suggestion of IQ differences? Is it a sunk cost fallacy since they let their daughters have Tyrone's kids? Well, I would suggest asking that on R the Donald. I'm sure I'll <laughs> ban you in a second. I don't think they like jokes over there. From Pirate Skeleton, Surreal, their culture is all or their culture is all imitation. No innovation. It's like watching adult children. From Rocker Boy, imagine clapping and turning half your shit off. From Anthony Seibert, that plane was used in Desert Storm. Oh, let me put the uh, super chat thing up so people know. That plane was used in Desert Storm, not not the US A-10. No, and not the Russian uh, Russians from Modern Warfare. History had it all wrong. Rip my life, LOL. From Perry Plantia Mission, if only he had made a device that made women spread their legs when you breathe on them or claps them through using a stick may have been useful. Uh, that's coming up next week. Give him time. From Fritz Leschenbauer, or Bronner, uh, breathe on them, and they are turned on. Sounds like Joe Biden and the Apostle would get along. Next, he's going to invent pesticides that are multi-purpose. From Joseph Jimenez, unions hate him. Watch how one guy saved the East. Buy your Katana products now. Sad boy raises the dead as a side gig. What a legend. Yeah, that's a hell of a flex, isn't it? Fuck you, Google. An entire continent of morons to fleece. We need to get in on this. Yes, we fucking do. From James Beanick, he calls down a lightning bigot. Decolonize your mind. The Western modality of science is wrong. Dr. Kwadu is a saint. From He-Man, trans rights. And from Scrotus Megotus, arise, chicken, arise. <laughs> I think we're caught up. Let me see if I missed any here, and then we'll... Okay, I did I did miss a few, I think. Uh, Digger John, tank has air holes for the hot climate. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. Uh, Fritz Leschenbronner, uh, he selleth seashells by the seashore. Magic metal. From Maddox 1000, I wonder if Microsoft will fire me for watching this at work. Uh, they'll give you a promotion. You need to put Microsoft onto this guy. Anti-gravity tech and sol solar tunnels? Uh, you'll be promoted to, like, VP for that. From He-Man, to be honest, you should do ads for BitChute vids on YouTube. Walrus Aurelius, he makes anti-grav tech. Why are you shocked a black man broke a law? <laughs> From Dyslexia I have, the budget for the new Terminator was much lower than expected. Bagel Goose, give us an a-woo and post your feet. I'm sorry, I haven't reached... Oh, what was the fucking guy's name? Who was the guy? That got, Ralph was always giving him shit. Uh, not, no, not Ralph. It was Andy that was always in a pissing match with him. And now I can't I can't remember the name of him. It was some YouTuber uh, that fell on hard times and started selling his feed pics. Uh, from Mike Hunt. This is a lizard person. Just look at him. He is ruling the world. Tell Daddy how big you are. This is what would happen if Tony Stark was a Kang. From James Beanick. I'm doing my part. Are you Safari Troopers? Andy M. Man, if I show up with a revolver with blinking lights, I bet they think it's a laser-powered railgun. <laughs> Padre speaks. When you cosplay salamanders from 40K, Mike Hunt, new goal. We need to sell this man something. Swindle him. I'm telling you, this nation is ripe for the picking. If they buy into this bullshit, you can do anything there. From Joseph Jimenez, Bibble doesn't walk, he just slides around. Fran Power, EDF Africa won't survive. From Heath Hawk Noob, bet you got his blue check mark before Matt. Uh, he probably did. From Muhammad Al Khwazimi, uh, they should paint all of this shit red just to make it go faster. You know that might be the version two that's coming out soon. From Sean Turner, look up B14 trailer, African action movie at its best. From Joseph Jimenez, I can't even tell if this dude is a dude, Jim. Is he a is he a tranny? You know, I I told you he kind of reminds he like morphs. Sometimes he looks like an older version of Easy e Sometimes he looks like a pimp. Other times he looks like an elderly black woman, like somebody's grandma. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know why why he morphs like that. From Brian Lane, I sure can't wait for Fallout 5 African Hellholes. That new power armor looks shockingly up to Bethesda standards. From Joe Biglow, uh, based Whoopi Goldberg, Charlie Johnson, you laugh, but they don't 
uh, but they don't cut their kids' nuts off. Mr. James in Blongington, how much do you want to bet that this man had convinced the nation that his semen is guaranteed to clear up early teenage fa- facial acne in young girls? See, don't give him any ideas. He's gonna he's gonna copyright and trademark that. Fuck you, Google. Anti gravity tech equals helium balloons. From Mahola Viking, he's probably one of those more honest businessmen in Africa. At least you get something that kind of works and that is better than most other options. Fallen prophecy, it's Pinky Nucka. From Punished Ivan, Brexit. And finally from Foxman two two four eight, can you tell us the story of how you messed up or messed with Bethesda? Uh yeah, I can tell you that story. So Pete Hines, this this is back, I think, when Skyrim came out on the PS3. Uh, Pete Hines had his, his Twitter handle, which I think is at Pete Hines, something like that. Um, I made uh, the same Twitter handle name and just turned around two of the letters. And then I went to every conversation he had with people and I replied to them. And I made the, the uh, profile look exactly like his. Uh, so they thought it was him. And all I did was just insult people and talk shit to the gaming press and uh, announce new DLCs that were coming out that weren't coming out. And I fucked with them for like a week. And they got really angry about that. He, I think Bethesda blog wrote about it because they were angry about it. And there were a couple of like minor news articles about Pete Hines getting fucked with. I just, it was entertaining to me. It was a fun week. Uh, from Garo, Jim, compare and contrast Koreans and their robots, please. Especially their mechs. Race and IQ is a myth, right? All right. Well, I believe I'm caught up with the Super Chats. Uh, thank you uh, for the donations. Thank you for coming out and watch the stream. Uh, the fighters, the... The conclusion to the fighters will be up on Halloween. Another video will be out before or on Halloween. And, um, yeah. If, if you get a chance, if you got some money, if you want to meet a miracle man, try to get a hold of Dr. Apostle Sappho. Maybe he can cure any disease you have by, I don't know, waving bye-bye at your face or blowing on you. Seems about his speed. <laughs> Seems about the thing he would do. Now, what are we going to play us out on? Uh, you know, I'm going to use the opening. Because uh, Chop That Dollar really fits this. Really, really fits it to a T. All right. Have a good one, chat. And I will see you all on Halloween.